Hey everybody, so I have another empties this month for you guys and I kind of did like a combo of September and October in the middle of October last time and we're about a couple weeks into November here and I have like a ton of stuff again. So I went through a bunch of stuff that I'm going to share with you guys. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to share is candles, of course. I feel like I always share this first because they're the biggest thing in the bag and I want to get them out of the bag. Um, and they're all Bath and Body Works. I feel like every time I share a candle that I use up, it's always Bath and Body Works, but I do buy other candles. I have this one from Home Goods. I actually, sometimes you can find some really good ones for great deals at Home Goods. Um, but I'm gonna share with you my Bath and Body Works ones I went through. Um, I went through an autumn one, which is one of my favorites during the fall time. It's really, I like this early fall because it's very just fresh smelling and light. Um, it just smells really, really nice. And then I went through two leaves candles, which are like my favorite, <laughs> like literally once like end of August comes around, I'm like, I need my leaves candles. Um, and this year the packaging is so cute. They did such a good job. I feel like sometimes they get a little chintzy. These are just so cute. So I actually like stocked up on these because I just love the packaging. And if they don't have this packaging next year, I'll be sad. Um, I just think it's really cute. And I would actually just sit this out. I wouldn't have to like cover it up or like peel the label off or anything. Um, but yeah, I love leaves candles are the best. I went through my favorite lotion. This is the Aveeno Skin Relief 24 Hour Moisturizing Lotion. And I like it because it's fragrance free and it doesn't irritate my skin. It is so good. Um, especially in the winter months here, I just like bathe myself in that stuff. Um, I also went through, this is the Burt's Bee Mama Bee. This is the belly butter. Um, this is the stuff that I I'll use on my belly throughout my pregnancy. Um, and I went through this tub and I just love it. I used it when I had, uh, when I was pregnant with Eli. And the smell is just like, it's not like a strong smell, but it just reminds me of pregnancy. <laughs> and I don't know how much it like does with like stretch marks and stuff. Um, but I do want to keep that skin really hydrated because, and moisturized because I feel like it can dry out. You're stretching so much. So, um, this is just a great belly butter, um, that I've used. This is really weird and I don't know why I put this in here, but that's the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. Um, I have the full size of this as well. Actually, I had this in there and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. We don't travel that much, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this little guy. So, love this stuff. It's so good for your hair. Um, I feel like it definitely makes my style and just hair last a lot longer than maybe it could without it. Um, so I always have that on hand. I also went through the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Again, can't live without this stuff. It's just so good. I've actually been trying to use a different dry shampoo lately and I don't like it. Um, it's really lightweight in my hair, but it just makes, it almost puts like a shine at the top of my hair and that's not what I want. <laughs> I do not want shiny looking hair up here. I want like fluffy hair up there. So, um, yeah, I just, I love this. This is like the only thing that works for me. Um, I do really like the Batiste one as well, but sometimes I can go really crazy with dry shampoo and this one, I, it never like gunks up in my hair. The Batiste one, if I go crazy, it can really gunk up in your hair, but this one is just my absolute favorite. Another a staple product for my hair, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. Um, I actually bought the big Mamba Jamba of this this time. Um, I already like repurchased it because it is the best leave-in conditioner. Um, I've tried, I, I've raved about different ones here and there, but this one is just like the only one that I feel like really kind of helps my hair. Um, and I just see definitely a difference when I use this. And I always use the keratin one. I don't know. I, I don't know if I've ever tried the actual original one. I don't know if there's a, like, is there a difference? Um, but I've always just used the keratin one and I love it. Okay, I have a bunch of Tula stuff that I went through, and if you guys don't know, I love Tula skincare. Um, it's probably my favorite skincare line, to be honest with you. I I try a lot of different skincare brands, um, but for some reason, Tula and my skin 
just love each other like anytime I get something from Tula um, and order it I just I see a difference in my skin and all three of these things that I'm gonna share with you are just so good and whenever I run out of something and start using something else I see a difference like right away in my skin um, so I just love the brand and this is not like I don't get sense that like this is just fully me talking to you guys, telling you that I really love it um, and that it's just good skincare and I, I really stand by the brand. Um, and like I said, I, these weren't sent to me. I purchased everything from Tula. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about, and I had to like turn down the lighting so you guys can see it so it's not like so blown out. Um, so this is the Tula Dual Phase Skin Reviving Treatment Pad. Um, I actually got this as a sample in my last Tula order that I did. And um, I've seen so many people like kind of do like Instagram stories with it or just kind of talk about it. I kind of thought it was like a little gimmicky because people are like, oh my gosh, my skin is like baby soft. And I was like, okay, what, like, what is this? Um, but I got one as a sample and I actually did an Instagram story using it. I was like, okay, I'm going to use this. And then after I was going to show you guys like what my skin looked like. <sighs> Like, people are not lying. People are not lying to you. This is the weirdest thing ever. So it comes, like, you put your fingers in this, like, little pad, and one side has the serum, and it has, like, a, it's called cotton something. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but it kind of leaves, like, little, like, cottony, like, pieces on your skin and it's really strange um, but you just kind of rub the serum all over your skin and then you flip it to the other side and then just kind of massage it into your skin and then you rinse your face I swear to you my skin was like it was like the most amazing feeling it is like using the glam glow mask um, the I love the black one that just makes your skin just really baby soft and like just smooth and like radiant and bright but like for days I had I use this when did I use this like a couple days ago and I like still see the results from just this one pad so I'm totally ordering these these are amazing um I've never experienced anything like this in my life and it's not abrasive at all it's not like a scrub that you're like scrubbing your skin it's like just taking a cloth and like kind of just rubbing your face and it it is completely non-abrasive to your skin so holy moly y'all need this you need to get this it is so amazing I'm so excited um I can't wait to get more of those because it's just so good Okay, a couple other Tula things really quickly. I've talked about this many times before. This is the Tula Hydrating Day and Night Cream. And it's so funny because every time I start using it, I go, oh, this is just, it's fine. It's a good cream, like whatever. And then I run out of it and I start using something else and I completely see a difference in my skin. So I love this. It's so good. It's a great cream. It's really lightweight really moisturizing but it just it doesn't feel heavy on your skin but it really does a good job at hydrating so I love that day cream and night cream um, and then the other thing I really like is the pro glycolic 10% pH resurfacing gel and this is like a toner but it's like a gel it's super interesting I use it all the way up I actually use it in conjunction with my Paula's Choice glycolic acid and the two together were like my savior during this pregnancy because I've had such really just like weird skin, like inflamed skin, um, just textured skin, like really weird, weird, weird skin issues during this pregnancy. And this is something that I always could rely on at night. I was like, oh, thank God I have this in my life um, to balance out my skin. So I definitely love this as well. Okay, another skincare product I use up is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. And I only use this during the daytime and it's really nice. Um, I think the reason I loved it so much is because it wore amazing under makeup. It was just really lightweight. I don't know why I'm like opening it and showing you there's nothing in there. Um, it was really lightweight and just, I don't know, I feel like it kind of acted like a primerish. It kind of had like a little bit of slip to it, but it was super light. Like it didn't feel like you're like putting this like 
thick gel layer over your skin. It just like kind of sunk into your skin really nicely and hydrated and I felt like it hydrated throughout the day. Um, so like when I put makeup on it never really like my ne my skin never really dried out during the day. So I loved this. Um, it is a little bit pricey. I'm not going to lie. This is a very pricey cream. Um, but it is, it's really good. Okay, a couple more skincare products and then I have some makeup stuff. Um, so the first thing I have is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. This is a daily foaming wash and I thought this was just okay. I wouldn't run out and purchase it or anything. It was a fine cleanser. Um, I don't find that like, it says exfoliate, exfoliate. Um, so I don't know if it was supposed to like exfoliate my skin. I didn't really feel that. I kind of just felt like it was just like a foaming cleanser. Um, that was kind of just basic. I didn't, I didn't think anything highly of it. Um, but I did use it because it was a cleanser. Okay, this unfortunately did not work out for me and I have like actually a ton in there. But I think it went bad because it kind of smells weird. And I used it probably for about a week. And then all of a sudden I started like getting little breakouts. Um, so I don't know if it was just went bad or I don't know. I just didn't really care for it. It was really thick. Um, so this is the Derma E Hydrating Night Cream. It has hyaluronic acid. This is just like a deluxe sample. Um, and as you can see, the consistency is like really thick. Like it's just a really thick cream and I just didn't love it. I didn't, I didn't really care for it. It was just too thick. Um, it didn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel greasy. It sinks into the skin nicely, but I think it was just too much for my skin. Um, like I said, I think it, I don't know if it went bad because it smells kind of weird. I don't know if that's just the scent of it or it's probably just the scent of it or maybe it went bad. I don't really know but it's gotta go. Okay, let's go into, I have some makeup stuff here. And first I have a question for you guys. Okay, so I went through my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation probably a couple months ago. And um, I had bought this like pump for it and it's the NARS pump. Um, how do you clean this? Like, can you reuse this? Like, do I have to throw this away now? Like, how do I clean this? <laughs> like, how do I clean this and use it again? Um, cause like I'd like to use it again, but I don't know. I mean, there's still like foundation and stuff in there. It's so, like, how do I clean it? So maybe I can't, I don't know. Do you have experience with this? Have you bought an extra pump and used it for multiple foundations or do you just have to throw it away once you're done with that foundation? I don't know. It's kind of, kind of gross. Something I'm really sad to see go. I've raved about it in so many videos and on blog posts and things like that. This is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Primer. Oh, I loved this. I loved the packaging. I loved the formula. It was just such a good primer. Um, you like pumped it up. Oh, I got a little out. Um, and it's just like a really thin, kind of reminds me of the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, um, but a little more hydrating maybe um I would say hydrating but it kind of has that like kind of slip feel to it but like a, like that super light um because the I feel like the hourglass one is really like kind of light and whipped um this one just has a little more of a lotiony feel but it still has that light feeling to it um and it just laid so nicely under makeup it made my makeup last long I loved it it is such a good primer random like mascara things I'm going to um actually this one I'm just gonna toss this is the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer Tint Amplify and Set um I talked about this a while ago how it just did not work for me I didn't really get the point of it um <laughs> it didn't it basically tinted my lashes like my natural lashes it did not like it wasn't a good lash primer it didn't really do anything like I didn't see the point of it and I paid a lot of money for this so um yeah I'm just gonna toss it it's been sitting in my makeup drawer and I just I won't use it it's not it's not worth keeping if I'm not gonna use it another mascara that just like did not work for me this is the Burberry cat lashes mascara and I did not like the wand it's like super spiky and really like bendy which I don't normally like those kinds and the formula is like 
just really thin and wet so I didn't find that it did anything to my lashes and I just didn't and I think it ran too when I wore it um so I just I didn't care for it okay and then last but not least I am unfortunately tossing um I only have like a I only had really like a little nub left so I don't feel that bad about getting rid of it but it is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. I love this foundation. It is beautiful on the skin. It is gorgeous. I love it. I just, I love it so much. But I had let this sit in my foundation drawer and I talked about this on Instagram stories, I think. And actually my sister had brought it up because she loves this foundation too. She like, like, lives for this foundation. She put it away for a while. She brought it back out and she went to use it and it smelled like fish, like legit fish. So I ran to mine obviously right away and was like, oh my gosh, I haven't used mine either in a while. So I went to it and for sure, it smells like fish, like nasty, gross fish. Like it does not smell right there's something wrong with it. Um, and I tried cutting off the top. I tried disinfecting it. I tried lots of different things to try to make this foundation, but I think it just went bad. And so if you have this foundation sitting around, go smell it right now. Um, and if you haven't used it, go smell it because it could smell like fish. Um, and I was just too scared to continue using it. I tried, I cut it and I used it and I, it didn't break me out or anything. It didn't do anything bad, but it just, the smell alone lingered too. Like it's not just like, ooh, it smells like fish and then you rub it on and you don't smell it. No, like, I still smelled it throughout the day. And then I smelled it on my beauty blender and my brushes and it was really, really strange. So like I said, if you have this and you haven't used it, Go take a sniff. It might need to be tossed, unfortunately. But I love this foundation. It is so good. I want to repurchase it, but I don't want to let it sit around. So I want to use stuff up before I go and repurchase this again because I don't want this foundation sitting around and smelling like fish. If I'm going to use it, I'm going to use it till the very, very end and then get rid of it because what's the point of paying how much money if it's just going to go bad and smell like fish? Okay, so that is it for my November, I guess, November empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else. I'm going to try to film another video or two before baby comes. I don't know if that's going to happen. We're going to try though. Um, so let me know your guys' requests. Also, um, I have been blogging a ton lately. So if you are like, where have you been? I have been, I've been blogging almost every single day. I've been trying to get posts up every single day on just fashion stuff, um, mama stuff, pregnancy stuff. Um, if you're like, where have your pregnancy vlogs or whatever gone? I have been doing all of my updates on my blog. So my blog is absolutelyairs.com. I will link it down below and you guys can check it out there. I have so much stuff coming up too that I'm so excited about. Um, like lots of holiday stuff that oh, I'm just so excited about. I love this time of year and blogging makes it so much more fun. <laughs> so definitely go check out my blog and my Instagram. I have all that stuff down below. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.